Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to Charvy. It's a Charvy. Face the camera, Charvy. Uh-oh, is that, what is that under your chin? Was that a flea, or? He had a big black spot under his chin, and, and I don't know what that was. I don't think it was a flea, but here's Charvy. Good old Charvy. His fur is growing back between his eyes. His eyes aren't gloppy. He's a good little guy. He's happy and friendly, even though he's very confused and possibly very frightened because I woke him up. I was cruel. I dug him out of his safe space. I reached into his nest and dug him out. The thing I try to never do, but he was just so sleeping and quiet and such. And I wanted to show him off, even though his fur is coming off. I don't know if that's old age or stress. So he may be in fact, I probably am going to take him. Here you go, little guy. You go back into your nest. I'm sorry I was a jerk. Here you go. I'll cover you back up. I covered him up with his tissues. He's a good little guy. I feel bad about waking him up, especially with his fur loss. Poor little fella. I'm hoping that that's just like old age and not stress or worse. I don't want him to go completely bald. That would be sad. Poor little guy. He's a good fella. And even though that was a short amount of time that I brought him out, I mean, he was wide asleep. Wide asleep? Fast asleep. Why would we use the term fast for asleep? I mean, that that implies moving quickly. He is asleep, was asleep, and then I woke him up. And then, of course, talking about mortality. Uh, yesterday, I was doing random things, and I saw how there was the rapper XXXTentacion shot and killed. Holy smokes. I mean, I can semi understand the situation where he lived, you know, the lifestyle. There's danger, especially where you live. I mean, holy smoke. Cities may be the uh, collection of people and culture and art and creativity, but it's also got the collection of the worst as well as the best. And you never know when you're going to get shot. I mean, you can try and minimize these things, but if you're just living your life, if you're just living your life, what the hell are you supposed to do? So it's it's sad. It's horrible. I hate anybody dying, and I liked his work, and it was just ugh. I wish I wish we would stop killing each other. I wish all this violence would stop. I tweeted this out to somebody, and it's. It's just true when we're saying like, you know, why can't we better be better than this? Why can't we do better? And it's just we are we're a little more than savages with bloody rocks in our hands, grunting as we stand over the bodies of the people we've just killed. That's humanity. So, yeah, I'm pretty thrilled with the state of our species right now, especially with all the garbage going on in the U.S. here with these. Uh, it's like I've seen various memes where they say, can you imagine G.I. Joe separating children at the border when they come in seeking asylum and refuge? Can you see Superman doing this? Can you see Wonder Woman? Can you see any of your heroes? Can you see any of the people in past history that are your heroes splitting up families to do this? And if you can't, if you can't, then don't you think you're on the wrong side? So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, all I can do as a citizen of the United States is despair and vote. And I know my vote will be invalidated by some moron out there who thinks that all the stuff going on in the U.S., well, yeah, you know, they just ain't gone far enough. You got it. This here country is for white people. So, I'm not too thrilled about all that's happening right now. I'm, I mean, I'm, my skin color is a sheerest accident of birth. In fact, I don't like the fact that, I mean, on a sheer physical level, I don't like the fact that my skin is this white because I don't tan, I burn. I've got no melanin. I've got no protection against the sun. When I go out in the sun, I just burn. 
by the time I start to actually heal up and tan, which, you know, a tan is just scar tissue, you know, but by the time that's done, the summer's finally over and we're going into winter. So thumbs up for that. Yeah, I, I joke that I'm so ta I'm so white that I glow in the dark, and it's damn near true. I mean, I don't gain color. I mean, I gain a little color, like I say, toward the end of summer, I might have a little bit of color. I might have a little V here, and my face and my forearms might be a little darker. But it takes so long. I wish I was darker skinned. Protection from the sun. But life is life. I can't wait for the future when everybody, through mixing, we're all just sort of a, they figure it's going to be sort of a light Mediterranean color. So that'll be good, but we'll find another reason to hate each other if we survive. I mean, we'll always find a reason to hate each other. When we find a reason to hate and kill each other just over beliefs, then, and that's just up the stuff that's in here. It isn't even out in the physical world. I mean, so what are you going to do? I don't know. I literally don't know. And yeah, it makes me sad because I like to think that my species, humanity, is good and wonderful. But of course, they take a look at what we're doing to the planet. And this comes back once again to the big Kurzgesagt thing where they talked about there's a great filter. The universe, if there is life, there should be, it should be teeming with life, but it's not. So there, there is a hypothesis that there is a great filter. Something happens that kills 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
I got one of those. I wanted to make sure it worked. Finally said, it's got to be the bulb. Now, I ordered a pack of bulbs way, way, way back when I first started turning this thing back on. <clears throat> so, and it's been kicking around. You know, I bought a pack of three, put one in there, so there's been two. The box has been kicking around here. I've been almost stepping on it. I've been stomping on it. It's been everywhere. Because I use, the, as I've stated before, organized chaos. And so things go in a stack, and then they move off the stack, and then they travel to other places. But because I've got organized chaos, I have a vague memory of where it is, and so I can just go to wherever stack it is. It has been so long since I've used any of the bulbs. I forgot where I put the container after I got tired of kicking it around and going, you know, I'm going to step on that thing. <laughs> so I moved it into a safe place. That's why this is barely working. It took me over a half hour to remember where the safe place was. My wife and I had learned quite, quite early in our marriage, don't put things in a safe place. You know, because if you go, I'm going to lose this I'm just going to lose this way. It's kicking around. So I need to put that in a safe place so I don't lose it. You do that, you forget where the safe place is, and then it's gone. All you've done is taken it from where you can use it to, I don't know where it is. <laughs> so it took me quite some time, but I got it. I got it. And of course, this one, don't be ashamed if you fall asleep in the heat. That one's partly to me, well, mostly for me too, because I fall asleep in the heat. But don't forget, don't forget the siesta in places closer to the equator has been very, very common. That is where in the hottest part of the day, what do you do? You nap. Because it's hard to stay awake in the heat. So it's not uncommon. It's, it's in fact very common to get sleepy in the heat. I mean, take a look at your pets. If you got animals, they're just all thump. They ain't doing stuff. They're just flopped over and either asleep or just panting. So it's, it's not uncommon. It's not unusual. So I got to not feel bad when I fall asleep. The problem is, of course, that when I fall asleep, I'm trying to do four videos daily and live stream. And so when I fall asleep, a streep, when I fall asleep, well, the live stream's gone instantly off there. So I'm, well, four videos and a live stream. So the live stream's gone, and then I might only get three videos depending on what time I fall asleep. So, yay. But I slept well last night. I slept well last night. I took, I can't really cool my room down with a fan. They, we don't, the people that lived here before, there are screens in my bedroom that cover the windows and then there's plastic to cover the screens because they don't have they didn't have like storm windows or anything all the windows in the entire duplex were just covered in plastic yay <laughs> so the plastic over my windows kind of keeps air from going in and out fully they don't they're not good pieces of plastic after these years there's all holes and there's a lot of airflow but i put the fan in the window and i slept well i slept well till after six o'clock when i finally got up which is why i started so late today it's 7 24 now and oops <laughs> at least i'm sleeping uh, it's just not restful sleep. Oh, and, and I want to say this one finally, real quick. I've, I've finally been dreaming again. I remember to dream. I mean, you always dream. Everybody, you always dream. You say, I don't dream. You do. You just don't remember them. If you don't have REM sleep, you'd be dead. So you do dream. It's just you don't remember them. Last night, I actually remembered parts of one of my dreams. Now, I have had in the past such bizarre dreams like i woke up crying once because i and some others had rescued a whole bunch of people who were living in an underground complex from like a rogue ai and i woke up crying because i made sure that everyone had gotten survivor therapy but everyone figured that because i was doing so well i didn't need survivor therapy and so as i was woke up i was so sad because i knew i was just as broken as everyone else but i was getting no therapy at all and so I woke up crying from that. And so I've had wild, wild dreams. And so what do I remember from my wild dream last night? I remember I asked someone if my, uh, 
right lower leg looked a little swollen because I have troubles with uh, water retention. So that was a fascinating dream. <laughs> Just intensely, intensely, you know, dramatic and filled with power. <laughs> That's all I remember about it, just showing someone my my bare leg, only from the knee down. I'd like pulled up my pant leg and was saying, does this look swollen? I have trouble with water retention. It looks swollen. <laughs> Gotta love that. Anyway, though, I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab so I can thank 20 to 25 people for having left me comments. <clears throat> Now, it is a range of 20 to 25, because even though I count an ASL on the fingers of this hand, I still get lost. I have fibro and more. It's not fun. Plus, if I mispronounce your username, my sincere apologies. We are American English speakers, as I am, which is why I said we. I don't know why I use the imperial we. So, but we're not really good at pronouncing things. So, wonderful. And I'm not reading the comments right now, so good comment, bad comment, and different comment. Thank you for having left a comment. It is appreciated, but I'm just thanking you for, for having left me a comment. So calling up my Chrome real quick before I run out of time. It is Chaos Carter. Thank you very, very much. And Chronos PL. Thank you. Sud Sudanshu Tripathi. Thank you very, very much. And we have Luca. Greatly appreciated. Claude5190, good to see you in the comments. Kathy Kitzkat, son of a gun. Grown quite used to seeing you in the comments well. It brings me a burst of pleasure. Thank you. And Queen Nymeria, thank you very, very much. Zico Sultan, thank you. Gaby G, thank you. And Pidge Bear, thank you very, very much. Leo Vinicius, I sure hope, thank you. Clay Mega, thank you very, very much. Brian Glenn, Thank you very, very much. Gypithecus the first? Guy Pithecus? I can't remember. I, I, I can't tell which, but thank you very, very much. And then we have Magic Magic Ninja What? Thank you very, very much. And Will Thompson, greatly appreciate it. Emotional Kryptonite, son of a gun. And Chris Jericho, greatly appreciate it as well. Tercio Philo, thank you very, very much. Trash Gamer 101. And Alexis Vasquez, thank you very, very much. And Dylan Wren, too. <laughs> and Jurassic375, thank you very, very much. Tundra Creeper, always good to see you in the comments as well. And last but not least, Bob Ross, thank you all so very, very much. Greatly appreciated, as stated, you get me out of my head into the real world, dealing with actual people. And that's a good thing, a very good thing. I've had depression problems, bipolar issue, my wife died, my mother died two months ago, I've got widower brain, I've fibromyalgia, alcoholism, damage. Ugh, it's no fun. But thank you very much. This channel has been a lifeline, and you are all beautiful and wonderful people. Thank you very much. If you can check out my various links, Brr, praying mentis form. That would be very awesome. I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+. Plus. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron, that would be very, very cool. I am dying from lack of cash. If you could help, if you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, that would be awesome. Thank you very, very much. Or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. Thank you very, very much. However, if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes. I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. And if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a good thing. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. I would definitely appreciate that. I would understand if you don't want to. But if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. And yes, I talk with my hands. One would think I was 100% pure blood Italian, but I'm not. My grandparents on my mother's side emigrated to the United States through Canada from Scotland. I've got Scottish blood in me. And I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent, but there we are. Anyway, I'm hoping to have a reaction video on the channel, hopefully a game video, hopefully a game video for the game channel. Hopefully I'll be able to live stream if it doesn't get too hot and I don't fall asleep, but I'm not going to be ashamed if I do. So you take care, 
Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And hi, Doodles Music once again. I'm bringing this at almost 20 seconds to the point. How do I do it? Is it magic? No, it's just a ramble and then bring it to an end. So have a good day, everybody.